Hi, this is Jordan with Sabetti Motors, and I have a really neat vehicle to show you today. This is our 1958 Mercedes 180D, stock number SM3786. This car is a piece of history. If you're a classic car lover, this would be a great car to restore. It definitely deserves it. <laughs> it has front disc brakes, bucket seats, a diesel engine, and it's a four-door, and it runs really well. Let me tell you a little bit about the history, because this car is really pretty amazing. The Ponton Mercedes was part of a series of passenger vehicles produced after World War II. The nickname Ponton comes from the word pontoon, and refers to the pontoon fenders, a post-war styling trend that was known as pontoon styling. There were pretty much four types of Ponton cars. The D in this vehicle designates a diesel engine. In 1951, Mercedes-Benz decided to replace the pre-war model W136 Type 170 with comfort and safety in mind. They designed the concept of crumple zones into the car and received a patent on it in 1952. You've heard of crumple zones, right? This is one of the first cars to receive that. The designer was a forerunner of the modern safety designs that we use today when he questioned the prevailing opinion that a car had to be rigid to be safe. In a stroke of genius, he divided the car body into three sections and then created crumple zones that would absorb the energy of a collision to enhance passenger safety. This design concept was proven in a crash test facility in June of 2010 when a Mercedes Ponton was crash tested and shown to work. The design is incredible. It has lots of leg and headroom, good visibility, very little wind noise, and it has a large trunk. As one reviewer commented, the interior of the Ponton Mercedes vehicles reflect the intuitive functionality, economic sensibilities, and driver experience that is typical of all Mercedes-Benz cars. This does need some restoring, but this is an amazing piece of history. <coughs> Even if you decide not to restore it, I mean, look at it. It's cool now. <laughs> it's got a great patina. I like the blue paint color. The chrome is nice and shiny. You could even put it in a restaurant or something. It just looks cool. If you have any questions, you can send us an email and we'll get right back to you. What a fun project.